Hey, good to see you again. So, welcome to another Kayla Core of Move. So, today I'm going to do a, a cross body chop. It's one of the original exercises I started training on the machine when I, when I created it. It's a great exercise. Some of the college teams that, that have been using this system for years um, swear by it, especially because of all the rotation in, in the sport of rowing, uh, especially sweep rowing. And, uh, but anyway, this is a good exercise to work on lateral column stability. So a lot of our exercises are forward and back, but we also have to work on, on, on side stabilization. So this is a, uh, a pushing exercise. So going to hook the, uh, the so we're going to take the band bands and put them on the fixed two. So I'll put them on the band anchor pin. So you can put it on one pin, both pins. A lot of times I just cross it over the top, and then I'm going to take it down and put it on. Uh, one of the bottom pins. Again, you can put it on both or one. They could crisscross. It doesn't make a difference. So here, we're going to stabilize the, the, the cable cord against the wall. I do these in the park often, so I put it up against a tree. Just something stable. Um, if you don't want to like mess up your, your trim molding, I actually have a dumbbell here on the floor. So I'm going to place that up against the dumbbell. Um, foot plates are down, so the L plate that you stand on is actually down to the ground. Um, and that'll set up if you have your band anchor pins facing the ground in this exercise, not facing up. So this exercise um, is really a diagonal uh, a chopping exercise. So we're going to set up by taking the top hand palm facing the mouth. We're going to put the hand extended out straight with the, uh, again, the palm facing you. I usually bring the hand, the hand close into the collar. And then we'll take the bottom hand and do the same thing. But now the palm's facing away on the bottom. This is a push-pull, so I'm going to just show you the two components. So the pull is just pulling with the top arm across the body on this diagonal pattern. The bottom arm is just a push. Okay. So the target is we're just taking the bottom hand and pushing it into the opposite pocket, and that's kind of the exercise setup. So you're going to kind of square up to the machine. The tube is right on your body. There's other exercises where you can move away, but this one we're really trying to build stability of the spine, uh, avoiding side bending or pitching in the spine. So we're going to be pushing off on this uh, outer leg, so the gluteus meat is going to be activated here. And we're going to try to do equal pressure, so I'm trying to keep 50% pressure on top and bottom hands as I push down and away. I usually do like a couple second holds here, so we're trying to build splash, uh, the spine endurance here. So we're trying to build this fundamental spine control um, to operate against your arms and legs. So I'll do you know, sets of 10, 15, 20, depending on what I'm trying to do that day. And the, the resistance will vary based on how many reps I'm planning on doing. We can also do a movement uh, on this exercise, which I call a hockey push-off. So we're going to just take the same setup and just kind of just push off on that outer leg. So again, spine stable. We're moving the arms and legs that are on a fixed spine. And I might do whatever the set is. And then I'll switch and do the other side. So we'll just come over. I'll flip the, the little collar plate and bring it on the other side. So the bands will rub on the inside of the handle. Not a big deal here. Uh, you could also move it if that was bothering you. You could just drop the, the band on the one pin. That would be less friction on the band. Same setup. So arms are extended. Top uh, hand is at the mouth level. And we just drive and push down. Again, I like to pause and hold. And then we can do the hockey push off, just dropping down and pushing off here. So, again, this is a great way to work on the lateral column core strength training. So, we're moving, always moving arms and legs around a fixed spine. And so, that's cross body chops and hockey lateral push offs. So again, the more time we can spend turning our spine to be a non-mover, the better we're going to do when we have to move our spine in whatever sport we're doing. But in most life activities, you can actually keep your spine stable and make your arms and legs do all the work. That's the best case scenario. Or they say, let the uh, arms and legs do the moving work, spine is the controller, and everybody's happy. So thanks for letting me share this column core move. Looking forward to seeing you on the next exercise video.